guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki from Aki's Place. Today, sorry, I'm in little distance from YouTube. It was really, um, how would you explain it? Because I've been having thrips problem. It's really time consuming to treat all the plants I have every single day. <laughs> so by the time I want to film, I'm like too exhausted. And this is like going on since all summer and still I mean, the number has decreased, but still, I, I think I, like there's like one or two I, I spotted this morning. So they're not completely gone. And this is driving me really crazy. So I thought I would share a positive side of my the rip um, problem. Just wanted to show my survivors from my thrips um victims <laughs> so i lost a lot of plants and i also have to throw away some of the plants because i just didn't i couldn't risk any more infestation so i decided to throw some of the plants away but most i try to chop just like chop everything down to the base so they can't you know lay any eggs on the leaves but um so most of the calithia i i killed because not kill but like um, leaf got damaged from the tips also they're not really they have a very sensitive leaf so they're not really good with the insecticide spray so I end up damaging the leaf as well trying to get rid of the thrips and um, I also chopped it down and um, and then the thrips keep going to it. So I have to like chop it down twice. Like some of the plants I have to chop it down twice to get rid of it. But um, let me show you. Um, so from my experience, I have been missing my plants with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and tea tree and dish detergent. And I think it works okay for me. I would just miss everything and that worked really great but then I ran out of hydrogen peroxide and then I thought I was <laughs> grocery shopping and I saw a big bottle of rubbing alcohol it's like okay why don't I just you know do the rubbing alcohol it might be a little stronger and might be more effective <laughs> so I tried it with rubbing alcohol but don't do that I actually noticed a lot of plants most of my plants, uh, especially calitheas and uh, what what else got? Some of the plants got really bad like burn. I think it's from the alcohol. It's too strong. Even though I dilute it with water, I think it damaged it. Like it burned the leaves, uh, especially calitheas. I can't remember what else um, got damaged. I think. Some of my philodendron didn't really like it because I, I noticed like the color turning on their leaves. And oh gosh, I can't remember. But yeah, don't, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend using uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol uh, to miss your plants like every day because I miss it every day. Like try to do it twice a day, but like mostly like first when I wake up in the morning, I do like all, like check all my plants when I miss to see if there's any more threats. So let me show you. My Calitheas have suffered so much, but um, this is the Velvet Calithea and I have chopped it down, I think just actually twice. I chopped it down twice and then it's finally coming back, but then um, I already kind of took out the leaves, but these I think are from the rubbing alcohol that got burnt and there were some more that I don't, I don't know if you could see it this was also burnt I think it's from the alcohol so sorry Calithias but um they're coming back they're very resilient I, I believe and they're sensitive but then they're very resilient so don't give up on your Calithia just chop chop it all the way to the bottom like the base and it will grow back. It takes time, but it will definitely grow back. And um, Velvet Calithia doesn't seem to, um, I feel like this one doesn't really need that much humidity, but um, I think Thrip enjoy getting into this plant because it's so fuzzy. And when I miss it, 
maybe the f the fuzzy part kind of protect them the thrips from actually like getting misted so I have to chop chop it twice actually to finally get rid of it but it's growing back and it's I just love this um velvet velvety or like fuzzy feeling it feels so nice so he's one of my survivor and then this is Calithia, I think Freddy. It has two leaves, new leaves now. I hope that there isn't any more threats. But I don't know. And it looks like there are some leaves damaged, so I hope it's not there anymore. But um it was in Lekka before, so after potting back in the potting mix, <coughs> I mean soil, I washed it and rinsed it, so I think it's all gone. But yeah, these are coming back as well. I'm so happy because this is one of my favorite leaves. They're really pretty. What was that? Oh, no, nothing. So they're coming back as well. And there's another one. Oh, I forgot. Is this Freddy? No, that was Vita, Vitata, I think. Sorry. And this is Freddy. I, th huh? I think this is Freddy. Or this is Vitata. No, I think this one is Vita. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I'll put it on the screen. But here is another one. He's um, getting a second leaf. And as you can see, the tip, this is, I think it's burnt from the alcohol, rubbing alcohol. So it's my fault. But they are very uh, resilient, as I said before. But they, yeah, if you just chop it down, they'll they'll grow back. So this guy is also coming back, and I, this one I, has nothing right right now. It it's actually Calithia uh, Network, the Mosaica. Um, yeah, I chopped it down, but it was in Lekka, and then I chopped it down. And it's been a few weeks, but the, the roots were okay because it, it didn't seem to be rotted or anything. So I guess it takes time. But hopefully this one will come back as well. <laughs> and last Calithia that I have is my one of my favorite. It's is the Calithia ovifolia. It's still in Lekka. Today I wanted to put it back in the soil and wanted to show you my soil mix for these Calithias. So these guys, I had to chop this one I think two, at least two times. It could have been three times but at least two times I remember and it was still getting the rips. They seem to like this leaf and um, maybe it I had it next to where all the like the infestation was so it keep you keep flying um, jumping or flying to it so it was partly my fault I hope it's a I see some dots but I hope that's a that's not the rips anyway I'm gonna pot this guy back in soil cuz I'm trying to get like um like Pretty much most of my plants are in soil now, but I still have this Calithia and one Alocasia um, Ivory Coast, I think, and Syngonium in Lekka. And I do want to put them back in soil eventually, but today I wanted to put this guy back in soil. And what I did with the soil this time, because Calithias really like to be like they like to be in the moist side so I decided have a regular house house plant potting mix and then some there's some charcoals in there active charcoal and then orchid barks perlite and I decided to add some of these um liquid balls because they they hold moistures in there and Calithia likes to be on the wet side anyway so and these all have Licka ball like lickas in here as well and they seem to be okay it's been a couple of weeks and um they're not they're doing fine so i think now that i don't i have all this liquor left 
<laughs> and trying to get rid of. So I decided to just make it. Yeah, decided to put some of those in uh, plants that are more thirsty, like syngoniums and what else did I put it? Syngonium and bird of paradise and what else did I put? Calithias. Um, also, I think I added in a locacia as well. So, and so far they're okay. It doesn't, they don't seem to, um, I don't, I don't notice any like bad thing about it. So I think it's okay. But let's repot this guy now. Quickly, sorry. I'm going to show you a little bit lower so you have a better idea. Just show you the roots as well. So, as I have explained, Leka Leka is like semi hydro is really good because like you can see how well their roots grow and you can tell like you can check every time when you flush. But for me, I'm I'm too lazy to do that, and some end up being um, root rot because of I don't flush and check often enough. But yeah, these guys are doing very well. Look at all this. What do you call this <laughs> bulb looking thing? There's so many of them, but it's very healthy. And I'm going to pot it in here, but I forgot I need a coffee filter. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. So I put coffee filter on the bottom because to um, prevent from soil to drain out. And this does a really good job. So I would recommend, recommend it if you don't put anything underneath I'll just fold it you could tear it to the sides but I'm just gonna hold it in peanut okay so let's just put them in the soil I'm gonna put that right here So my threat problem is not completely <laughs> gone, I realize. There are still some, like I realize like I got, I end up like throwing away so many things. Like I um, had to give up on the peperomias because they were like the worst place. It's like for the threats, it's the best place for them to hide because it's really hard to get underneath the leaves of those peperomias so I end up have to yeah like get rid of some and most pretty much die because from misting too much and yeah so and I thought I have everything under control and then I realized that they have spread it and like they started like infesting into my some of my succulents which I don't miss. I didn't miss before. So that was another problem. I have to get rid of like a lot of succulents. Sorry, I had a phone call. But yeah, they, the, they, they got into some of the succulents. So I have to get rid of some of the succulents because it just couldn't stand <laughs> dealing with it. But I think I have most of them in control now. I believe, I hope, I just need to um, continue misting my plants like every day, which is a lot of work because I have like more than 50, 150 plants, but I have to, otherwise this problem is not going anywhere. Okay. There, that was perfect amount of soil I made. And I'm just gonna use this water because it's it's from the water from the Lika. had semi hydro, so it has some liquid fertilizer in it. And I'm gonna have to add more water. But it's done. Okay, might as well use this. Okay. 
so that's it and thank you <laughs> so much for watching uh for those you guys who's battling with thrift don't give up <clears throat> it's really hard it's really stressing i was so stressed too but it will it will i mean <clears throat> i don't know like everybody said if you have a lot of plants there's no way you can get away with not having pests so you just have to live with pests oh my throat okay but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye